I'm about to go get them real quick. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. So let's take a look at what we got here. We have some work going on. So now these ones right here are in east-west line. So we have a triangle. It's outlined right here in the pink. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. So from this information that I have, I know what angle A is. I know what angle B is. So I can still figure out angle C. So with the information given to me from angle B, these are actually referred to as vectors. Okay, These are from nautical terms. So if they say north, ah, hold on. There we go. Okay. All right. So now these, everything is depend on from north. Everything goes from north. So let's take a look. I'm going to start off by just talking about what I have. So if this piece right here is 15 and it is 90 degrees from due north, what is the angle B going to be? 105. Why is it 105? Because you're just 90 degrees to that. 90 degrees to my 15. Because this right here, with this nautically, it always goes from north. So it measures it from there. Now, in this case right here, so we said that angle B. So angle B is 105 degrees because we had my due north plus 15. But now let's take a look. This is due north, and it's 42 degrees to this line from due north. So in my triangle, that's the piece I'm trying to look for. The triangle is this one right here. So in the triangle from this, it's going to be 90 minus 42, right? So we get angle A, 48 degrees. OK, what about angle C? Can I figure out angle C? Yeah. I know that all three of these together have to add up to 180. 180. So what do we get? 27, 153. 27. So look, it's 153, right? Minus 180, 27 degrees, right? That's going to be helpful. So now, what information is given to me? Uh, you both have C and you have C. I have C. Do I have little c? Yeah. So little c is going to be right over here, isn't it? Yep. It's going to be this one, the line segment AB. A couple people noticed it, that in the triangles, they don't label it all the time from the little letter. They could also by the segment that is. This is segment A to B. It's also referred to as little c. C here is 110 one, mile. Okay, so we have all that. Now, what is it asking for? Oh, don't, don't, don't start that. Just go read. Just find the specific part. Okay, how far is the fire from the Western Station? That's what I'm looking for. And I'm rounding to the 10 miles. How far is the fire from the Western Station? So right here, here's the fire. The Western Station is way over here, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's pointing this way to east. So that may, that one's west, right? So I'm looking for little b, aren't I? So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put little b right here. That's what I'm looking for. Now, we're going to go through and set this up. So I'm going to write... 110 over sine of what? Um, sine of 27. 27, right? Because C, big C is 27, isn't it? Yeah. Equals little b over sine of? There we go. OK, cross products again. So it's going to be b times sine of 27 degrees is equal to 110 sine of 105 degrees. 
to get b by itself, I have to divide by sine 27. So in your handy dandy calculator, and round this. 23.4. Wait, 234. It says 234, right? Did, you, did it come up with 234? 234.04. Did you get 234? 234, that's it. Yeah, 234.4. Oh, it should be 1110. You put 7. Oh, there you go. All right, so you said 234, right? Hey, you said 234? Yeah. You said 234? And where does it say we're rounding to? 10. 10. Not 10, so nearest 10 30, miles. 30. So that would be 230. Super easy, right? Yeah. Now, area of a triangle. Now, this only works when I have SAS. Where is the angle have to be in SAS? Between the two sides. Between the two sides, right? It's got to be touching both sides. So that's the only time I could do the area. And so it just depends on what information is given to me. So whenever you see something like this and you don't have the information, draw the triangle and see where everything goes. Because if it's not side angle side, it's not going to work. Okay, so let's take a look. What sides do I have? Um, three, four, four, four and forty-two. Okay, but what letters are they? Little a, and small. little a and little c. Little a and little c. Little c. Very good. Little a, little c. Right, Herman? Yes. Yeah. So and so, let's take a look. So I'm going to draw this. I'm going to trace over this so you guys can see this. So I have side. I have the angle, and I have the side. It always has to look like this, side, angle, side. So the angle is between touching both sides. Yeah? OK, good. So now, this one, because I have angle B, I have angle B, I have to use the angle B formula, which is right here. So if you notice on the previous page, I have the angle A formula, the angle C formula also. So let's go ahead and put it in. So it's going to be my area is going to be equal 1 half A, which is 34, times B, which is times sine of B. There we go. Put it in a handy dandy calculator. So what am I going to round to on this one? Why? Because the other ones have a tenth, right? I'm going to round to a tenth because the other ones have ten. Is everyone calculating this right now or just staring awkwardly? 586? 586.0. 586.0. So it's like 586.1 if you round it. Two for one. Area, 586.1, and what are my units? Feet squared, because it's area. Feet squared, because it is area. Super easy, right? Okay. And I believe... Okay, so now on this one, do I have SAS? No. no. Angle, angle. We don't have SAS, do we? No. No, so we have to do some math. So I could find either little c or little a. I have to find little c or little a using law of sine first before I could do the area. So let's do that. I think I'll find B first. What do you, um, do I need B? Say no. 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 
because if I have little b here, so let's say what for instance, C? let's say for instance, I want to do this. So for my SAS, that would be A, B, and big C, wouldn't it? So that would be my SAS. Yes? Yeah. Okay, I could have done the same thing, but over here with little c, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. So I could do that, but I don't have to find big B. Actually, technically, don't you have to? No. Well, you don't have little a or little well, c. Like little it's not, no. It's not. Oh, no, you need. Because what do I need? I need SAS, right? Yeah. To find the area, I need SAS. Yeah, but to find little a or Side, c. angle, side. Yeah, but don't you need the variable from b to get to? b is given to you. You have to find b. Big b. b. Big B. Oh, you're talking about that? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about trying to find everything. Please give me some candy for that. Give him that hard I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm the one that mentioned it. Candy for that. I'm the one that mentioned it. Yeah, no, Pacho, he mentioned it. No, that's Okay. You mentioned it. I mentioned it. You did? Okay, so it's not that I made a mistake. It's I was misunderstanding what you're talking about. You don't have to find everything. You just need to find you know, one of either those or those, but from big B, from big B, that's going to give you your values that you need, right? How do you find big B? Do we okay, so now on? let's pay attention. Let's pretend I paid attention during chapter one of this class. That's a long time ago, Pacho. I know, you did too much drugs since then. Okay, so now there's a special thing in your calculator. There's a special thing in your calculator. Thank you, DMS. You remember that? No. So it's going to be 180 degrees minus 24 degrees 40 minutes minus 52 degrees 40 minutes. And what am I going to put here? DMS. Thank you. Right here, the triangle, D, M, S. And what do we get? super easy, right? Yeah. Okay, so now that I have that, let's go ahead and do the law of sine. So my law of sine says 27.3 sine of 102 40 is equal to little a over sine of 24 degrees 40 minutes. doing some bu button pushings right here. Button pushing in the right Which one's the seven? Uh, 27.3, it's this. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's
Can you put DMS? Love point seven here, right? <laughs> okay. What does DMS stand for? <laughs> degrees, minutes, seconds. And how? What do we measure with degrees? Angles. Angles is what you measure in degrees, right? Yeah. So, are we looking for an angle here? We're looking for a side, right? Yes? We're looking for a side. So the side has to be in whatever units I have. And in this case, it's going to be centimeters. If I was looking for an angle, which would be angle B, that would be DMS. So now that we have that, now we have set up. So do I now have SAS? Okay. So I have SAS for angle C. SAS for angle C. So this one right here is going to be. So I'm going to trace it over. I have my side, angle, side. So now my area is equal to one half. That's going to be 27.3, 11.7, sine of angle C, which is 52 degrees, 40 minutes. Yeah. I don't like it. Is it exactly 127? 126.1. Um, well, if you round up from only one, then yes, 127. <laughs> oh, yeah. 127? Would it be 0? Yes. Yeah. So you say that it would be 127.0 centimeters squared. No, it's square because it's area. No, the area is always square. Because you have to have the same amount of significant figures as the other one. All right, so let's see what we got. All right, that was it. Okay, don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Tomorrow is what, my dudes? It's Wednesday. It's going to be homework day.